Alright, today I'm going to show you how to make a P06 ECU into a P28 by chipping it. Some parts are going to speed up a little bit. Alright, what we have here is the actual motherboard of the ECU we're working on, which is just happens to be a P06, and I'm about to chip it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the other bottom half too and we're going to pull the entire board out. Okay, now that we have the back both sides off of the ECU casing, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and take out all these screws on the motherboard. There's still one more screw that you can't miss, and it's this screw right where the pins go in. Now that holds on to one of the FETs on the motherboard, which actually brackets it to the outside casing of the ECU. Okay, um, first things first, let's see here, there's I'll take a picture of this board um, and I'll, I'll put it in my video. Okay, this is the 28 pin, oh, 28 pin socket. All right, it makes it available so you can put a chip into it. All right, now there's a key though. You need to pay attention to, if you can see this, there's a little tiny See underneath my finger? At that little indention. Now that goes only one way. And when you look on the board, I'll show you. When you look on the board right here, you see the two two seven five or two seven two five six. Sorry, I'm reading it on the camera. Um, you see that indention? Well, this chip has an indention if you look closely. And it has to go the same way. You can't turn it the opposite way. Or else it won't read. Okay, well that's the first step. Let me go ahead and solder that. I'll fast forward this part. And this is what we're looking at, this chip right here. I just put that in there. You see the notches that I was talking about? See on the front? Even the board shows the actual notch where it goes. Just soldered that 28 pin in there. All these chips come with an instruction manual when you buy a chipping kit. But if you look right here, you can see the, I'm trying to read on the camera, 74HC373. You can see it right there. It's right next to the 28 pin right there. So basically that chip goes in. Now take in mind, same thing again. When you guys are putting these chips in, if you look right there, see that little groove indention? I'm trying to get it focused. Right there, that little indention. Well, the chip, I'll show you the chip. This one's even tinier. You can barely make it out, but if you look on the end right here, see that little tiny, that little tiny indention? Well, that's where the, it goes on the board too.
And there's the chip with the notch facing. You want the notches in them, even if you maybe for some reason your board doesn't show, but I'm 99% sure they all do. All the notches always face towards the clip side. So we got the IC4 chip and the 28 pin chip installed. Okay, so the next step is going to be we have an R54 resistor. Old tiny guy. Right in front of the 28 pin socket, if you look right there, the closest one to the 28 pin socket says R54. We got a J1 jumper, which is here. They even come labeled um, with these kits. Uh, you know, be J1. The J1 jumper. The J1 jumper goes, if you can see, the P, there's a 28 pin out. I just soldered in the uh, R54 resistor, and now we're putting in the, right above it, it says J1 right on the board. With the R54 resistor and the J1, it's right there. Both of these guys, nice and clean. Okay, basically, you want the back side of the data logger. There's the back side. Let me show you. Okay, this back side. You want it towards the outside of the board. Okay. All right, folks, well, that one took a while. The last pin would not desolder. Okay, well, <clears throat> as you can see, there's only four pins on this data logger. Well, it goes one through five. Well, obviously, the back side of the data logger goes towards the outside. And the first pin, with the back side facing the outside of the board, goes on number one. So one through four gets used, five doesn't get used. Here's the C51. Let me show you. C51. Here's your 28 pin. The 28 pin, and here's your IC4 that we soldered in. Obviously, your J54 jumper. Or, well, yeah, not your jumper, your J54 or R54 resistor, and your J1 jumper. Then we went ahead and soldered in the data logger. And now we got the C51, which is, here's your 28 pin, here's your IC4, and then we got the C51 right here, which we're going to solder that in. 104 resistors, which, let me show you. One on the board, the number 104 will go towards. There we go again, I'm doing it with the zoom. We'll, we'll go towards the clips where the wiring harness plugs in. So the 104 number will go towards the clips. And now we got C52, which I'm going to desolder right now. Alright, got uh, the C52 desoldered right here, and I'm going to put the number 104 on the outside of the board, which is this side, right here, I'm going to put it. So the number 104 is going to be facing the data logger, or 104, yeah. Alright, let me go ahead and solder this one. And this is the last step.
And that's it, folks. I got the whole board. I'll show you a video of the car starting up with this board chipped out. Okay, so I just went ahead and plugged the chip ECU in. And let's give it a shot, see how it fires up. And there you have it. Any questions?